it causes razor burn, ingrown hair, cuts, bleeding, and even infection. And if you have sensitive skin or a skin condition, it's even more difficult. The US alone throws out 2 billion razors a year. Most can't be recycled because they pose a health risk, so they end up in garbage dumps. There must be a better way. Can we create a razor that does not cause irritation? A razor that shaves smooth and clean. A razor that helps reduce waste. This is why we created the Scarp Razor. Whilst working on lasers for cosmetic and medical purposes, I wondered, could I put this technology to better use? I wanted something that would benefit every single one of us. Shaving was the obvious answer. The industry has been looking for a laser shaver for home use, but discovering a viable technology has eluded everyone until now. Wavelengths of light have been discovered that cut through dark hair, but not light or grey hair. We wanted a laser that could cut all hair. Many prototypes were built, and after years of experimentation, we had found exactly what we were looking for. We identified molecules in the hair that absorb a particular wavelength. These are called chromophores. These chromophores are the only continuous structure in the hair. They're shared by every human regardless of age, gender, or race. The scalp razor is for everyone to use and it works great on any area. This is how it works. A traditional razor cuts the hair shaft at an angle. This is what causes your skin to feel rough. When the scalp razor makes contact, the laser melts through the hair shaft completely level to the surface of the skin. This leaves a smoother, softer finish that lasts longer to the touch. We really need your support to put the scalp razor into production. We have preliminary agreements with manufacturers, but we require capital to begin orders. We've spent many years developing this razor because we believe after 5,000 years of using the same technology, it's time to make shaving easier, safer, and greener. Help us bring shaving into the 21st century.